and we back. So let's begin. We're gonna get in a little bit of more of Brazil, the mysterious history of Brazil. Felipe the second lent Ganea 500 and up to the up to 1,000 leagues of course lie. <coughs> Alonso de Guzman reduced them to 300 because 700 belonged to Brazil and the Count of Santa Gadea said that the Sharife had 300 leagues off the coast of Africa all hers so quote unquote Africa because we're dealing with America but the name used at this time was Guinea or Africa or Beberia or like we say in the last video Tierra de los Negros the land of the blacks so these names at the record book show that can confuse us the sources reveal that the influence of Islam reached from Bahia to the south of Mexico so we're dealing with this area. By right here. All we have to do. South of Mexico. And not just Islam, according to what they believe Islam is. You know. Penetrating the power of the Sharif into the interior of South America until it hit the Inca Empire, which developed east of the Andes after the conquest of Pizarro. So we're dealing with the Sharifi powers, the power of the Sharif, uh, Moors, reaching a whole lot in South America at this time. So, so remember, we're trying to place as a more over here, right? That's evidence of that possibility of the Sharif he had that much real estate. Um, Muslim vessels of Hamete distinguished themselves from the eastern part of North Africa. See, we will get into some of these names of these Moorish Americans like Hamete calling himself Poniento. I think Poniento means Western. Levante means Eastern. We can look that up later. The conquerors, so it means somebody who ain't from this land coming to take shit, right? Did not ignore the presence of Moors and Jews in the Indies. So, where the conquerors is, is not the Moors and the Jews. So, we can go ahead and hang that up with the Moors came to conquer and this and that. We can go ahead and hang that up real quick. They too much evidence showing that the people who fought the so-called conquerors were Moors. But that up there, please. Names. So, <coughs> they ain't ignore the fact that Moors and Jews been here. Which is true. <coughs> There's plenty <coughs> of accounts that show uh, Moorish presence in early America from these conquerors. They tell you they sell themselves. 
So they don't ignore their presence, but they do ignore the place names. They will not tell you Morocco, Marrakech, or Algiers, Algeciras, and stuff like that exists on the side. Even if they know it not, ain't too much of them expressing that. That's why I like this book, get this book. Because that's what she tackling. And it's obvious when we look at our Google Maps in today's time, why we got practically a bigger version of old Andalus in South America, right? Cordoba and all these places. Granada, like 10 Granadas in, North, in, in the American continent. More than he was in Spain, and we're supposed to believe that this has just been some fanatical Spaniards naming everything after the old Spanish, old Moorish thing, right? So let's continue before we get to when did they, they did not agree to the power that they knew, nor to those who knew little are interested in learning. The Dukes of Medina and the cultured members of the Royal Council were well informed, using them to dissociate in bureaucratic concepts. The Indies, from the discovery supposedly populated by animist Indians, from the Western Islamic Abjurist minority and quarry of blacks, it was not convenient for the church to admit that other people of the book were advanced in the New World. You see. Deliberately high this shit. Which by grace of the most high, it was up to them to convert. Nor that it was guessed that the slaves offered in the market came from the continent given by Rome, you see. Just because you see a manifest and they say people come from Africa that could have been a Brazil. It's an illusion. Africa is a Roman name for any conquered place of Moors. That's why we got it on both sides. Carthage will be turned to Africa in Roman terms. I just don't deal with so-called dark and people on both sides. Just the holy war. This associated the Latin and Indian place names from Africa or Barbaria, which extended from the island of San Lucia to Pernambuco, you see. We didn't finish dealing with Pernambuco on the last video. But we didn't deal with Santa Santa Lucia. Let's look for that. Tucumán, Argentina is an interesting place too. Okay, we got Santa Lucia in Brazil. It's most likely what's being referred to. The parent, Nambuco, should be somewhere further up. Right here. So that's a good bit of real estate. <laughs> The church was exempted from its complicity in trafficking, being able to proclaim Castile that never sold vessel for being a uniform pirate color in his conquest, mystification that nothing was new to the pirate color. We're dealing with what they considered Spanish. That's why I say all these people over here who we considered as Moors. We considered them to be the so-called Mongol or featured, you know. But if you look even in North America, we got a variety of complexion from light to dark. And in the Spanish record, they call, they would call somebody like, even me, so-called light skin, but they, they, nowadays, I'll be considered black in the record book. But in the Spanish record book, I'll be considered parrot or a panis. 
which is a, like a braid color. Just a term for light skin, but you know, they had that term light skin, quote unquote, back in those times, right? So they had the old terms in that, their parrot color. It's like a red, somebody who red, you know, we call them red in the hood. But you can associate that with, I'm gonna show you in a minute. But you know, some people call them the Mongol tribes or whatever. Or North America, the top devils. And that's what a church really try to push that this that's been dabbing them who they've been dealing with in America, basically. And the uh, so called dark skin ones, the ones who they brought from Africa to keep both stories intact, like that. Like we conquered both both of them people, but one are we conquer here and one are we conquer in Africa. And the easy that's that would make it an easy conquer because now you got the the darker skin ones over here who don't believe that they only own the state. And you got the 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 so called parrot quote unquote who believe they've been conquered to that point where there ain't no hope for them to ever get nothing back. Being that their numbers seem obscure in my opinion. Compared to the darker skin moors on North America from the last day Chile. That's a lot of power that they can't really fight hands on it, so you have to fight mentally use a pen and draw him a map and show him that map for generations. You see, for being a uniform parrot color in his conquest, I make him look like everybody over here been the light skin variety. Mystification that nothing was new already. The fourth century religion of slave betrayed them after their triumph. So they showed that during the wars of this old war, even under the Christian powers, the so-called dark skin or so-called yeah, so called blacks or dark skin people been under those powers, but they've been still fighting wars between different, you know, they've been operating as Christians and winning wars. But even then, now they betrayed by that own, by, by that right now. Deceit that causing a whole lot of problems on this continent, which caused me to make these videos. Everybody running to Ghana and all the different Christian tactics that are going on. It may seem unharmful, but all these problems come about. If you go look at the stories about the so called Afro Brazilians and the Afro Mexicans and the Afro Venezuelans, etc., they're going through bullshit. They're going through. The second class citizenship will go through. But are they second are, are they really second class citizens? Nobody wanna talk about it. Having promised to ease them, they will embody power change their mind. Minds for the sake of economic interest, confess with inconfessible. They left them how and where they were, avoiding the theoretical contradiction with the promise of freedom and paradise post mortem after death. An example followed by Protestant liberals, supposed heirs of the humanism, changed Guinea to Guyana, right? Easy trick. Put the whole story somewhere else, right?
traffic was given. Added to the quarry in the western Sierra Leone, the eastern Sierra de Leone, while building democracy. That's deep. We got Sierra Leone over here. Sierra Leona. Sierra Leona on the other side. That's what they did with the Sierra Leone on this side. They changed it to key, right here. Key area. Try to hide it. In the current maps, we already going through this on the last video, but we're going to test it up. In the current maps, Mazagan or Mazagal, the old and the new, separated by nine leagues, appear on the left bank of the Amazon, about 12 from the north. About 12, I think, miles from the mouth of the Villanova River, about five leagues from Porto Santana. Officer River Bank and Angra de Santa Ana de la Guinea. <laughs> okay. That's um they already like marked some of those places, but let's check it out. Five. Right. I think right here. But you know, at the end of the day she ain't even had she ain't even had no no Google Maps and she did this with regular maps, like Oh wow, excuse me, we got Master Girl. I think new Master Girl somewhere we see we got two of them. Oh right in the and the brother Nova level. This is Santana. This is the island of the Santana, the port of Santana. Inside the same area over here. Got forts. Like slave quarters. <laughs> Got the luxury of this type of technology and she be an expand on this work. The opposite river bank, we already gone through that. He could have been in Asamoah, see, which was perhaps the place without a name where he had Abdelmelik's fortress on the Great River Dump to the canal due north, leaving the Huma Islands in the Punta de Del Plaza to the North Cape. See, you got the name to do corner. Copper. 
has a dog and two sallies. Isles of Morocco. A maple. Blanco for the conquerors. And nowadays, Magu Ari. So they call it white. The conquerors. They call it Cabo Blanco. Which is a bunch of Cabo Blanco. Let me see. Let um, me see. Magu Ari. Bethlehem have some history too to it. Probably get into all the videos that <laughs> deal with it. The foundation of Mazagan is attributed to a Portuguese shipwreck arrived in 1502 to the site of the former Rusibis. They built the tower, the beginning of a village killed in 1542 by a Pires that the King of Morocco recovered in 1769. Ostensibly, ignoring that Mazagal or Mazagan continue in the river of the Amazon identified with El Jadida. You see, Amazon and Amazon, that's two things that it makes up. Morocco and Morocco. See on the other side, ain't no rivers got coming from El Jadida and all those places over there. Ain't nothing connected on the shore, but from the sea, it has a well-known tourist beach. And the other side got a tourist beach. That's what it is. It's um, check it out. And we know we got beaches on this side too, in the same area. There's all these shore, shore city cities on the shore. And a lot of them got Al something. I hope there's an Al. As a guy, I think there's a beach. And they're trying to say the Portuguese came and created Mazagan, a shipwrecked Portuguese. <laughs> I believe it's that's the same Brazilian from the side. From the side of where? Ancient times. The Marinids. These moths. From 711 AD. Occupied this area of the world. And that's where we got the, the Latinization. Attributed to different shit later on by so called Jesuits. <laughs> and that's what I mean by parrot. Right? Like America do attribute to both the ranges of people all over the place. And they want to attribute him coming from Africa or whatever. They want to attribute him coming from Siberia. It's all a with the Department of Education boat. And look, we're dealing with Christianity. A rosary type. Rome, right? I think that's in Kasari. Kasari or something like that. So.
cursing Nero, something like that. But let's see on the old map, you know, change it. But it's like a conquered Mauritania on the side. Might be Kier. Might be. Just good thing you got a little bit more reading. And I think this in Suriname is somebody who draw the different people, right? So this way he will probably be somewhere in Paris, but he just somewhere he like in the northern states we got these like the people in the states. But we got the one the turban on, we got different factions, people but these these Marsh Americans. Just one area to sorry now. These are some of the documents which he got. And it's 1487, January 20th. And basically, she believed by reading this caravan open coins from Andalusia to some place called Allende. Allende. Abu Baya Alpha Gami safe to move to Alinde in Africa. This Abu Baya been leaving during the expulsion of the Moors in 1487. And he um, got ships that been fit to go to cross the sea. But if they've been talking about uh, Africa, Alende in Africa, as we know Africa to be today, he wouldn't need them ships because he would have had ships for that. Let me go get into that. 1480, see this before 1492, all these. Berberia and De Alende with cotton and other things. You can go, you can go to, you can go to their site. They got the site for the family, the Medina Sedonia family archives and get the documents. Probably need some kind of ID showing you some kind of historical society or something. So Alinde is mentioned in the documents as region and kingdom of Berberia or Africa. A Berberia that included the fishery of the fishes or Bacaleos, where it was stolen bass for slaughtering with Caravelle registered in Puerto de Santa Maria during the war between Enrique the Fourth and his brother Alfonso the Twelfth. It was Barbaria, the Guinea of the gold mine and the bailouts. So we're dealing with South America. From the coast of the Manicueta or the Pepper. Bought from Alende confesses cotton cargo. No, we've been dealing with the cotton district too. And it was brought indigo and horses about to fall Malaga. So we're dealing with the fall of Malaga. The Afghami family asked the Catholic insurance to move to Alende in the Berberia land of Moors. If they had traveled to the other side of the street, which is Africa, North Africa, as we know today, they would not have needed a license from the King of Castile to reside. Both did. The expelled Muslims and the expelled Jews choose the Berberia by land of asylum, being many those who embarked in Lisbon because as a spring they were regular boat. They were there was regular boat. So they already know what time to leave because they already been going back and forth. Let's put it like that. Seeing people from both sides. And they tell them, you know, what's going on. We talking about America. Making was for the Turks. They came to my fair as Morocco and Sousa. 
with the Aragavi Alpha Barrier of the Moors in 1600, reigning Hamite, illustrious Sharifi, full of the dare forbade his vessels to wait in the ports of infidels. Okay, so Jamaican, I know that I ain't over here, but I know even something I was looking at. And damn, we believe. Yeah, I think Turuku, Turiaku. It's interesting. It's an interesting port in this area that and we should we should read that part from making was of the Turks, the Kingdom of Fez, Morocco, Sus. They find a Susa. So we read to on the other side. But I think that's a re uh a redone area yeah Muzo Tunja <laughs> these vows interchangeable don't even be sometimes you don't even need the vows in it you see whoever went to Barbaria would have to play in the squares which I have in those parts, confused and disobeyed, he ordered the traffic in 1603. Whatever was destined for the Algarve, Algarve of the Berber would pass through Keuta and Tangier. The merchandise sent to Morocco by Mazagan being able to load Ando and Fez and Saleh, ports of Moors to avoid the rodeo. To this kingdom, Adarachi, Arkila, Lumbamora, and Argun Ar belong. And I think Lumbamora is still. Oh, that's another recreated. Because I think they recreate the whole story over here in different places that are street names, stores, restaurants. <laughs> Saleh village of autonomy for being on the border with Morocco following the return of Cabo Blanco you see a bunch of Cabo Blanco we reached the Cape Aguirre at the mouth of the Huma Grand populated by islands partly flooded where the Agir river flowed so yeah, a lot of rivers and basins and creeks and stuff like that in the area that she's talking about. This, these areas, you just get a creek and just go everywhere. Get an important. Get from one place to the next. This side. But this side is different. We're dealing with roads of roads of roads of dry land. Where the stories ain't matching up. You got this on the outside, but you got certain areas like this. Up here, you got a little fertile part, still. Where's the rivers? You got lagoons. You still got mountains. Coastline, you got a coastline to deal with the water flow, and you gotta hope you can dig water deep. You gotta hope you can dig into the, the ground over here, man. Like, it's different right here. Got one right there. You got a million bears. You got 
while cities reaching into these things and it gets that he's in he fall in the rubbish and you got the you got the negro black and spanish on the side the black river and people who from the black river they call them blacks right then we got another side Latin for black. Niger fluvius. The Black River. And that river don't want to see him as plush as Shinar. On this side. You got Myanmar on this side. You got a bunch of Myanmar. And I've been entitled, I believe I've been entitled for the more we have over this side and this side. And El Andalus. Had a crown for all those kingdoms. Let's finish this up. Beyond the port, beyond the angle port of Santa Ana was where Anzamor, port of Morocco and Mazagal or Mazagal, 12 leaves from the mouth. On the other side of the river was the island of Mogador, Mogador or Magador or Mogolo, with this imposing port to the other side. It has a capital, Tagios, called Santa Cruz by the Christians. Like, Cabros in Brazil. So everything we gotta look that up. I think we already done seen a good bit. Common top on top top in like topography in the Indies. A Santa Cruz appeared on comet maps on the island of Mirajo. We see the island of Mirajo. Sierra I wrapped the kingdom of Sus, the port of Safi, last frequented by Castilians on that coast, belong to this crown. So you got these that belong to Moors. You got the names. Well, I don't know if Maraju, Maraju. So you got the holy wars going on in this area according to um, the old Spanish records. And you got an Asimor that no longer exists. And then you got Mustafa Asimor, which would mean Mustafa de Asimor. The Mustafa from Asimor spell like a different from this Asimor on this site. <laughs> You got all the characters in that story living down here, governing places down here. You got him knowing all the languages of La Florida and the West. You got him governing down here, meeting with people, right? Sierra Leone right there. That's why I think Kiara is. Hostile Morocco, the Christians did not penetrate a barrier with 300 leagues in length which annexed the Guinea of the rivers. See, these, these, um, these documents talking about rivers when he's talking about Guinea and stuff. And as we can see on the other side, you know, you got that one bay, that 
reaching to the Gulf of Ghana, leaving the first port of Moors to the nine leagues of the Canary Islands, where they crossed the fleets. And it's an old map of that. Rio de los Esclanos, River of the Slaves. And on the other side, you got Rio de los Esclavos, River of the Slaves. And Sale is always known as the slave capital of the world. Where more is brought slave to. And you, know, you can see this a wrap up this so, You got on this old map, you got the rivers of the slave on both sides of the river, like Sale. Descriptions of Sale and old text. And we're gonna end this and come back with some more accounts. Some more accounts in the spam. We'll try to find a relation on. You know, translate it to the six. That's the Guana, a Rio Amano in Cape North. Rio Amano. Chocolate land. We got a Rio Amado chocolate. <laughs> Rio Amana today. Like I said, they got the watch them growls. Anyway, that ain't in the series. We'll look at more accounts.